Hi everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a JavaFX project from scratch in IntelliJ using the Windows 10 platform. So the first thing you want to do is, if you're doing this for the first time, is take a look at a tutorial instruction set for how to set up JavaFX. The best place really is the list of instructions at the JetBrains website. And here there's a recommendation how to use the um, Gluon HQ version of JavaFX. So this is going to be JavaFX version 11. And you want to download the Windows SDK version of it. So you download it and it'll expand out into a little folder. You copy that folder and place it into something like C drive colon um, slash Java, JavaFX, etc, etc. Something that doesn't have any spaces in it, something that's uh, right off the main drive. Makes it nice and easy for the IDE to find it. So we've now unpacked it, and we're going to move it in, and then we're going to fire up IntelliJ to link it into a project. So we'll create a project and that sort of thing and link it in. So we open up IntelliJ and we're going to link in that lib folder that you see right there. So as we're waiting, it takes a little while to load up on my machine here. There's an old project that will show up first, then we'll uh, make a new project after that. So we're going to close this window. We're going to go to File and New, and we're going to create a new JavaFX project. Now, it's different than a standard Java program project. So we go New Project, and instead of selecting Java, we're going to select JavaFX. So here we go. So instead of Java, we go down, find JavaFX, find it right there. So we choose that. And we're going to choose the um, version 14 of the SDK as well. So we click on Next. We give it a name. And, you know, using sort of standard naming conventions in Java, use a uppercase for the first letter, lowercase for everything else. Don't use any underscores. So this is going to be my first JavaFX project. And we'll just open it in this window. So we'll replace the existing project. And it opens up and you can see this uh, controller class right here. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is work on that project structure. So we want to make sure that the project structure says that we're using version 14 of the SDK. That the modules are the SD, the uh, version 14 of the SDK. We're using the uh, language defaults of, of, of the Java 14 SDK. And now what we need to do is modify the library. So we're going to hit that plus right there. We're going to say we need a new Java library. So plus Java. And what we need to do is go and find that lib folder. So that would be in, um, in this case, uh, C drive, Java, JavaFX. Let's go and find that. So I'm typically a Mac user, so it takes me a little while to get around in, uh, um, in Windows. But here we go. There's the Java folder right there. We want lib. And hit OK. So it finds it, links it in. So we say OK. We want to link it into the project. That's looking all right. So what do we do next? We got to do this um, module business right here. OK, so choose modules. So we go back into here. We go modules. We got to find that, uh, that lib business. Plus, we're going to do this with the module. We're going to we're going to add a module. We're going to import a module. And it's hard to tell. So let's go. We'll go back to plus. Let's do the new module. No, 
Yeah, there we go. New module. Now, let's see. Hold on. It's a little confusing right here. Import module. That's probably a better deal. There we go. There's the lib right there. Yeah, so we're importing that lib. We're not creating a new module. Should have thought about that. All right, so we're just going to import next, 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 finish. And everything's looking good. We hit OK. And now what we have to do is we have to navigate into the main class, capital M main class, in the source folder in our project. So we're moving away from that controller.java file, and we're going to go into the main.java file. But, oh, right, there's the virtual machine option that we have to do. Okay, so we have to go into uh, the edit configurations for run. So we go like that. We can either do it there or in the run menu. And we have to modify our options. And we're going to modify our options. It's over on the right. We'll get there in a sec. And uh, we're going to modify the options so that we can uh, link in the virtual machine. Now, it's, yeah, right there. Modify options. And I need to bring in the name of the um, of the folder where all that's going to be, right? So, so just going to make sure right here. Okay, so modify options. And I want to add VM options. It's down below right there. And there's um, sort of a little uh, set of options that we're just going to copy in from the JavaFX tutorial page. It's right there. There's a little icon on the right-hand side that says copy. Come on. I could write it out. But you know what? It's just better to copy it. There you go. Copy and paste it. There we go. Paste it in. But there's still something that needs to be changed. So we got to change the folder name. So that path to JavaFX SDK, I got to change that up. So it's going to be C colon slash Java, etc. So we'll see, so I right click on lib. I go to properties. You can see that's that's what I want right there. Okay, so I can copy that. I can write it out, but that's yeah, there, copy. We're gonna paste that in. There we go, let's paste it in. Okay, and I gotta do slash lib like that. Right, and that should do it for the VM, for the virtual machine. Yeah. So in my case, I didn't put spaces in the uh, in the folder in which I saved the SDK for JavaFX. If you've got spaces, you got to be a little bit more careful. Anyway, there we go. So OK. And now let's navigate over to the main method and the main class. Right there. Main. And we can see that JavaFX in the import is not read, which is a good sign. It means it's being imported. We're going to compile. And it should compile, no problem. This is just the Hello World default project. You can see Hello World on line uh, 14. You could write something else if you wanted to in there. But uh, compiling is going to be fine. And then what we're going to want to do is run it. And then there should be a little window that pops up that will uh, show Hello World. All right, so the first build is doing all right. A little slow on this machine. It's a slower, older machine, but it's getting there. 
All right, now I'm going to run it. And it's going to build. Hopefully go a little faster. And when, it, when it's all built and it's running, you'll see a little Hello World window pop up. It'll pop up and uh, in the future you put a graph in it, you could put buttons in it, etc, etc. And there we go. There's the Hello World window right there. We've done it.